G'day gang game audio Danny, how you going? We're back in the Lord of the Rings Online and I'm just really up close on this silt silt crawler. Look at that thing. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Alright. Let's uh let's continue looking for what we need to find. <laughs> you know. You know what I mean. No, you don't. Uh we need to find Nurbig. And we actually hit a Nurbog. Thank you very much, Mr. Coco Captain QC, for clarifying that. Uh, they're actually the same thing. <laughs> One's a plural of, of the other. So we just need to find another one of those and we can, we should be good. Uh, I have seen quite a few around. Of course, when you need them, the last video we saw them, they were everywhere. Now when we need them, they're all hiding. They know we need to find them now. And they're like, oh no, they know. They know it's just in the name. Quick, hide, head for the hills. Head for the Brandywine River! <laughs> They're gone! Come on, guys! I just need to sink my hammer into one of you, that's all. It's not a big deal, not a huge deal. No bog. No bogs. Where are ya? Come on, buddies. Come on, buddy. Oh, it's kind of dreadful saying that. They're like, oh, we are we buddies? And then arrows in the head. No, we're not. But I only need to take out one. After that, we can be buddies. <laughs> you are joking, right? You are absolutely kidding me. All right, they, they, maybe they weren't everywhere, but there were quite a few. Here's one, here's one. I gotcha. Oh, and I think that actually had the right name, didn't it? It was like a huge sand nerby. Alright, anyway. We are good here and we can head back. Uh, I can use this to go straight back there. I think we've got everything, right? Yes, 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 yes. Good. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> Say, oh, hey, Barry. What you, what you... Something over here? I don't know. He's over there. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, we got everything, folks. Hello there. I still don't understand how these essences work. Perhaps one day I will. But for now, all we need to know is... They make glass sparkle. A lovely day, isn't it? These will do. They are not the best set I have ever seen. But I think I can get enough green out of them to do what I need for now. I worked hard on that, lady. How do you do? These scales would do perfectly. I will begin grinding them down at once so we can use them in the next batch of glassware. Thank you. Is there something I can do for you? You have destroyed some of the sand, Nurbig. Thank you for this game, Audio Dan. You have put my mind at ease, and I cannot say that often enough in these dark days. The Nurbig will always be a danger, but it is to be hoped that we have forestalled their swarming. Hello. These are the most impressive, Gameolio Dan. The teeth are sharp indeed. Take my thanks with the knowledge that you have made the Barrendale safer for all of us hobbits. Thank you very much, Game Olio Dan. All three of us love you, but we're not going to face you. You get the back. That's it. Unbelievable. After all the things we did for them. Is there something I can do for you? At least you face me, Percy. Hey? Unlike all your little buddies over there. Uh oh, how, how do I do it again? <laughs> how, did, how was I able to open them all at one time? Oh man, what was that button? Wasn't it just shift? No, that's putting it in chat down there. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, hang on. Maybe that's the problem. Nope, that's not the one. That's the one. Alt. Sorry, guys. I play too many MMOs. Start getting mixed up between them all. Uh, bronze Arnorian Arnu coins. But you know what? I wouldn't do it any... I wouldn't have it any other way. Now, we do have... Dwelling's plate. Oh, is there another... Oh, there's some tools down there. Aha! 
Well, you you guys are gonna get it. You guys are gonna get it. I'm gonna give it to ya. That chief worker. So up here somewhere, we should be able to find a satchel of glass blowing tools. Why won't you let these people blow their glass, huh? That's a party poopers. Can you imagine popping an arrow from that distance? Mate, you would be static. <laughs> Tell ya. That'd be that. That would be that guard, Chief Captain Man. <laughs> Yeah, you would try to run away, for sure. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Bring the satchel of glass. I mean, while I'm here, we could just finish the job. Clear out the town. Right? Then they could move back in and be happy hobbits. Or well, at least till the next respawn, anyway. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Barry didn't like the spin move. It's been a foul day, it has. You have the tools, very good. I can now get back to working again. Might I speak with you a moment? You could if you looked at me. Hang on, I'll stand in the fire while I talk to you, okay? I'll cook while I talk. Now this hobbit I was telling you about before, he let big men buy up all the land right here in the Shire. I've talked to Ronald Dwally about sending a letter to old Will Whitfoot. The mayor, but I don't know what he can do against a sound contract like the one sent to my door. One of my dear friends, Perlina Gamji, is away in the West Farthing looking for a snug hole to start over in. And I told her that I would look after her home while she was away. Those new men in town have a foul look about them and I don't much trust them, even if they claim to be here to help. If you could, go down and check on Perlina Gamji's residence just east of here in Dwelling. You look like you could hold your own if any of those ruffians gave you any trouble. Yeah, okay. Oh, you look like you'd have no problem. Oh, such a tough guy. You'd, you'd be able to go in there, you know, and, and get my tools and, and a couple pages of a book and possibly get me some sugar as well for my for my tea and my coffee. Yeah, you, you, you could do that because you are a tough guy. You are, you're a big, strong guy. Mate, I know what you I know what you guys are doing. Alright? And let's just say it's working. Let's just say it's working. <laughs> what was that? Wooden chest. Why thank you. Whoops. I mean, I meant to do that. Uh, Perlina, where's your house, Perlina? It's one of these. doing so well is it so I'm gonna go talk to Rob he's probably gonna lose his mind so oh, I can't believe it oh those ruffians what they did oh I'm gonna get my revenge oh, <clears throat> but you look like a really strong strong good-looking man I think I reckon you could not a problem you'd have me be easy not a problem for you The gall of some folk. Well, I never. These big folk are violating their contracts. Are you, mate? I'm trying to read a quest here, buddy. Chief's hunter. Get a clue, pal. What are these times coming to? 
Might I have a word with you? Never in all my days have I heard of decent folk getting attacked in the Shire. Even if this is the North Farthing, folk should still be decent and civil, though I wouldn't put such treachery past these big men. I've asked Ronald Dwally to draft a formal letter of complaint to the leader of these men, Will Tuffin. He... <laughs> Tough guy, Tuffin. He is always in and out of that big hole down in the center. I would like you to get... All right, come on. I would like you to get the letter from Dwali and take it to Will Tuffin straight away. Just go down to the big hole down yonder and ring the bell until Will comes out. Make sure you were careful. I don't trust these big folk. Take care that you don't let them bully you this time. What are you talking about? Bully me? Are you on crack? What? Ronald. Just Ah, uh, uh, yes, Hob asked me to draw up a letter of complaint after you found out about that business with Perlina Gamgee. Business letters are not my usual fare. I am more used to crafting more fanciful stories and letters, but I dare say I did as fine a job as any could have asked for. Ring the doorbell, <laughs> deliver the letter. Like, I don't know, I don't know if this is going to go the way you guys think it's going to go. In fact, it probably is going to go the way you think it's going to go, because this is exactly what you want. You want me over there with my big old arrows. Laying it into them. Ring the doorbell, deliver the complaint. Oh, I think it's this one down here, isn't it? There's my former complaint. Oh, go away, guys. I haven't even given my complaint yet. Come on. You shouldn't be whacking me on the back. You got nothing. I haven't even complained yet. A letter from one of those little rats? Be off. This is our land by Sharky's orders. That fool Lotho doesn't know what he has gotten himself into. Not going without a fight, eh? Well, that can be fixed up proper. Real tough and... Take some of this, tough boy. Here you go. And some of this one. I will deal with you fools later. I have work to do here, Dwally. <laughs> oh, tough guy. Say E. It's not me. It's this. It says it right there. So make sure you're doing that, folks. Say E. Right. Job's done. Huh? How rude! What's that now? Shut the door in your face! Well, if that isn't the rudest thing I have heard all day, Bob, you got to be kidding me, guys! You have got to be kidding me. Okay, we good? We good? I can talk to I can talk to Hob now. Thanks. Good. Great. Bob Greenies has a spare key to the big hole. It's a public building, and even if they own the whole town. They haven't the right to close up a public hole. You march right in there and make sure he reads every word of that letter. Talk to Bob Greenies here when you are ready to go down to the big hole. Just march right up to that hole. That's what I'll do. Gonna go into that hole. Are you ready for me to let you into the big hole? You be careful. You, who knows what those big folk will do once you're inside. An attempt to lodge a formal complaint on behalf of the glassblower, Hob Hillbrow, led to a violent encounter with the chief's men. The time has come to put the ruffians in their place. Yes, I love the way that he said, ruffians. That is the way you say, that's it, boys, let's do this thing. Chief's man. Oh, here we go. Back again with your letter. Looks like I will have to add trespass into your list of offences. There are new rules here in Dwelling, my lads here. We'll make sure you don't cause any more trouble. Will they? Will they, mate? Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, hey, disease rats. Oh, no. They've trained them. Let's take him out. They're not attacking us, but let's make sure that they don't have a chance to. I 
if I could tiptoe around the side. Come on, crack it open. The door's locked. What? Oh, 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 here we go. Come on, Wolf Keeper. Take that. Chest over here. Hang on a second, how come we can... Oh, it is called the Big Hole, isn't it? I was thinking, why are we able to stand here so easily? I'll deal with you myself! Come on, Tuffin. Now you've done it. We will see you what. The trespassers are here, Chief. You must deal with them. Fool, you have ruined Shaku's plans and Shaku does not accept failure. I'll take that, Tuffin. Maybe we should stand out here. Now we, you, we will deal with you. Man attack. Come on, attack. One at a time, eh? Just like any fight scene in a movie. I will deal with you myself! Mate, what's up with that face of yours, pal? The complaint has been resolved! <laughs> That's how we deal with it in Australia too, exactly the same way. It's amazing. Collect the formal complaint. I'll collect it. I've already done that. Oh man, what do you got? You guys are living in the filth and the muck. What were you doing here? And how'd your face go all that? All mangled like. Alright, Hob. Can't a body be left alone? So their leader wouldn't take the letter? I can't say I didn't expect trouble from these ruffians. I'm going to have another formal complaint written to this investor and tell him just when I think about the character of these men he has sent to the Shire. You mentioned something about a goblin-faced fellow and someone named Sharky. I'm sure you must be mistaken. There haven't been naught like them in the Shire since the Bull Roarer's time and I have never heard of anyone with a name such as Sharky. But. But with all the excitement, I am sure you can't be blamed for your mistake, mate. There's no mistake here. Hob, 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 hob. No mistake. Uh, daggers and swords. Arrow, bow, bow and arrow, bow and arrow, bow, bow, bow. No, okay. Fine. Uh, plus 10 agility. Vitality. Vitality. Critical strike, agility. Ill kept bandit sword. It's got plus nine agility. I'm going. I'm looking pretty good for the plus ten at the moment. Plus ten agility. It is. Let me equip that. Look at my dude. If I didn't have the look that I have, that's what I would look like. I, I could be this. I could just as easily be this with the red tights. But no. 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 We won't have that. Throw you over there. Switch you around. Oh, I took you right off. Let's throw you back on there. Plus nine, plus nine, plus ten, plus nine. Okay, good. Let's close you down. Let's have a chat. Might I speak with you a moment? You have done much to help us, and for that, I am grateful. I feel it would be a long time before dwelling feels like ro the rolling hills of the green fields, but we will continue to do our best. One thing that does not does concern me is the big folk to the north. Not the ones in town, but the ones beyond that live by the great, the big lake. They were friendly to us. They used to come down to trade for pipeweed and glass once or twice. 
I ventured up to see them. They used to make a camp up at a bridge that crosses the river where a giant man of stone watches all the boats that pass. Would you venture up there and see if they are well? I will. You got it, mate.